No, it's a static method. Yeah, so be hard to test this interactor because it talks to this static method directly. Yeah. So maybe this should be an instance method. And you could inject your um, mm -hmm. API manager. Or, yeah. Or inject that closure. That would be a big closure. <laughs> True. Yep. So you could inject an API manager, rather. No, API equals API, something like this. And you would call this on the API method. So when you're testing, you could inject like a subclass of it. So this now, instead of being static method, it could be an instance method. Yeah. Yeah, because that it's very hard to uh, stub these things, right? Like in Swift, static methods. I mean, you can stub the global URL session. Are you using URL session here? No, Alamo Fire. Alamo Fire. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if, how to stub Alamo Fire. I don't use Alamo Fire, but I'm pretty sure there is a way, probably using some URL session protocol or something like this. And then you can do it globally. The problem is that if you're stubbing the global request, you cannot run tests in parallel because if you're running tests in parallel, yeah. you change the global state in one test, you affect the other test that is running at the same time. So you need to run them serially. It's one of the downsides. And it slows down the whole system because stubbing the the request, even though it's not going to make a network request to a backend server, it's still going to be dealing with threads. Your request will be open, creating threads mm -hmm. for the tasks, and you need to wait for the threads to complete. It's going to slow down the, the, the test suite. But if you can inject maybe a subclass or a different implementation of the API manager for the test purposes, you enable testability in this interactor class.